Ahead and Articulate Storyline user asked some unique questions about how to create a menu and um, set up the behavior of a course. What she had was um, a menu slide where she had some options and she wanted those options to each lead to a different section in the course. So that's pretty typical, right? I've set up kind of a simplified version here with section one and section two and they each lead to um, a different scene in the course with some slides here. In her case though, she wanted each of these menu options to look different when the learner came back to the menu if all of the associated content um, connected to each of those options had been completed. Okay, so that was one requirement. The other requirement was if the learner came back to the menu slide and all of the sections had been completed, she wanted to redirect them immediately to a wrap-up slide, which is what I've got over here. So this is kind of interesting because in this situation, using a visited state on these menu options doesn't really work very well because a visited state really only monitors whether the learner has clicked on an item, not whether they've you know completed all the content associated with that item. So in this case, what you can do is use true-false variables to help Storyline um, keep track of what has been viewed and what hasn't. So you would create you know, a, a true-false variable, set it to false at the beginning of the course, and then when the required content had been completed, you could set that to true and then use that as the basis of a trigger to change the appearance of the menu item. Now, if you know that your learners are going to proceed through your content of each section in a strictly linear way, you can get away with using just one true-false variable for each section. So what you could do is create your variable and then, you know, of course it would start out as false because the learner hadn't completed anything yet. And then on the last slide here at the end of each section, so that would be this one or this one, you could use a trigger to flip the switch on that variable. You would set it to true once they got to these slides. Now that works great if you know they're going to go through in a linear way, but if you're allowing them to jump all over if they want to and visit different slides in any order they want, what that means is they could jump directly to that last slide in the section and suddenly the, you know, the variable's value switches to true even though they haven't seen all the other stuff before that. So if you want to get super you know, rigid about what they view, what you could do is create a true-false variable for each slide, and that's what I did here. So if we open up our variables, I've only got four content slides in this example, so I've got one variable for the, um, the first section, or the first slide in section one, another for the second slide in section one, and then a variable for the first slide in section two, and another for the second slide in section two. So real simple, they're all true-false variables with initial value of false. And then on each of the individual slides, I have a trigger that sets that variable that's associated with that slide to a value of true when the learner gets here. So in other words, when they get to this slide, I'm gonna consider it viewed, and that's what's gonna you know, help me keep track of whether they've seen that. And then back here on my menu, if we open this up, um, for example, on this one, I created a custom state called done, and I added a little check mark to it. I didn't use the built-in visited state because I didn't want this to look visited, you know, when the learner clicked. I wanted it to look different only when they'd completed everything. So I created my own state here. And then over here in my trigger panel, here's what I've done. I'm changing the state of that um, shape to my, you know, custom state called done but only on these conditions. I want the first slide in section one to be visited. In other words, I want that variable associated with it to be true, and also the second one, okay? And then similar thing on this other shape here, except this time I'm requiring the slides in section two to have you know, the variable value is true, so that indicates that they're visited. Now the other thing is, if they come back to this menu and they've you know, visited everything or completed everything, then I want to redirect them, right? So that's what this trigger is for right here. We want to jump to that wrap-up slide when the timeline starts, but only if both of these rectangles are in the state of done. So if they're in the done state, we know they've viewed everything. So let's go ahead and preview this real quick. So here's our menu, and I've got these little um, notes down here to myself just so that I can keep track of what is done and what isn't. So I'll go to section one, Here's the first slide. You can see down here that my variable is now true. We'll proceed. Here's my second slide. That variable is now true. We'll go back to the menu and that's showing our done state. Now we'll go to two. There's a second slide in two, back to our menu and it appears briefly and then we jump directly to the wrap up slide. So it's behaving just like we would want it to.